Hello, and welcome to Morning Reflections. I am your host, The Fat Mantis. And let's face it, you love your mother. Don't try to lie to me. I know you love your mother. And for those of you out there who aren't feeling my sentiment, I understand. Families can be very difficult. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that everyone watching is someone who wants to visit their mother for a positive reason this Sunday on Mother's Day. And I'm going to teach you how. Today we're going to go over the best ways to navigate, particularly in cities, how to travel to your mother's for a short break from quarantine to see the woman who created you. As well as go over the top five science fiction, television and movies mothers of all time. Let's get it started. Sci-fi mom. Number five, Sarah Connor, the Terminator. I consider her the crazy mom. In this iconic role, Sarah Connor redefined what we consider a mom's role. Suddenly, a mom could be a badass who taught us to fight and kill, and that is, in a way, the most motherly thing that could do, especially when it is a single mother. Travel survival tip. This list is primarily for urban environments. If you're in the suburbs or in the country, just get in an Uber or get in a car and drive to your mother. It's that simple. Why are you watching this video? Remember to like, share, and subscribe. However, if you're in an urban place, it is literally an obstacle going down the block, let alone miles to go see mom for Mother's Day. So here's what we're gonna have to do. The first thing on our list is going to be our gear or gadgets or utility belt. Any way you wanna phrase it, what is Batman without his gadgets? We're gonna need gadgets. And the first thing I wanna say is we're gonna need portable hand sanity, of course. We, of course, are gonna need a mask. We're gonna need something to shield our eyes, and we'll get into that in just a second. And uh, actually, check this one out. So this is what I call Fugazi hand sanitizer. <laughs> what it actually is, is it's overpriced solution um, to spritz and spray. It's not a gel, it's a spritz and spray over items that you wanna clean. Um, also, let's say you don't have those wipes, those hand wipes. Um, but you know, if you can't find this because this is like a, a recently popular development in sales, you can always create it, take a spray bottle for, with something else in it, dump it out, clean it out, and put 80% rubbing alcohol and then 20% just water. And that takes the burn out when you spray it on things. So you can spray it on your hands, you can, spray, can spritz it over your clothes and stuff like that. Sci-fi mom. Number four, the queen, aliens the overprotective mother. Now, a lot of people would think that Ripley gets it. As a matter of fact, online, I've seen a lot of people give a position to Ripley because she was an adoptive mother of a little newt that she found there. However, the real prize goes to the queen of the aliens. That is the mama bear there who will rip you to sunder if you look at her child cross-eyed. You wanna see how a mother can be when she sees her babies get killed in front of her? You need to check this out. Travel survival tip. We are gonna need our bat suit, right? So we are gonna construct a bat suit as it goes. And so is we're gonna want layers and this will come in handy later on. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a shirt that we don't really love. Long sleeve, of course. And you know, please don't wear shorts. When you go out there, don't, don't, don't gear up your top and, and just wear shorts. Use your head, use your head. Blammo, right? And then we're gonna put on our gloves. Now let's say you don't have rubber gloves like I do. I got a boatload of them, because I'm still venturing out. Fool. But let's say you don't have this. Yo, if you do dishes, which I assume you're not an animal and you do, blammo. Okay, he's a little tight on me. Guess I don't do dishes as much as I claim. But okay, if you're a real germaphobe and you really need to protect yourself, you're really scared of what's going on here, take this bad boy, take duct tape or moving tape or something like that and just seal that bad boy off. The next thing you're gonna need is a hoodie, right? So you got your hoodie, you got your gloves, you got your layers, right? You got at least one layer over everything. So you got your hoodie, then you're gonna put on your face mask, blammo, put this bad boy on, and then you're gonna put on that plastic shield. Now, let's say you don't have one, since most people don't. If you're a glasses wearer, that's right, if you're a glasses wearer, yo, forget those contacts when you're headed outside. You're gonna wear those. Blammo. You're gonna keep your head down and you're not gonna make eye contact once you're out of the line. Sci-fi mom. Number three, Maureen Robinson, Lost in Space. Now, of course, I am talking about the Netflix original show, Lost in Space, portrayed by Molly Parker, the textbook mommy. The show takes upon a twist of the father knows best and makes it mommy knows best. She likes to hug and love and talk to her children. Doesn't always work out as, as we all know, mothers are not perfect travel survival tip. Now that you have all that, 
I got some bad news for you. You're walking. That's right, you're walking to see your mom. If you live in a city, you're probably already a walker. You're probably used to walking at least a mile or two a day. However, you know, I don't know where your mom is. So this could be many, many miles. So basically you wanna leave early and you're walking. Why are you walking? Because it is safer than public transportation. Don't get it twisted. Those things, when you get in a bus or a train, it is just a petri dish of filth. This is, would be normally said even if there wasn't a pandemic. However, if you walk, you can control the situation. Remember, you just stay alert. Give everyone a wide berth. Make sure you see your targets. Even if you have to take a few moments to either cross the street or go around them, take a little longer on like a wonky, non straightaway way of walking, this is the way to do it. This is the best transportation you can possibly do. Now we can run into a problem here. Let's say you live in like Manhattan and your mom lives in Queens or Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, or the Island of Satin, man. Staten Island, man, that is a tough one. Uh, walking might not be accessible, especially Queens. When you go into Queens, it's an endless wasteland. It's basically one big, one big desert with a few bu buildings in it. So for these places, you are gonna have to Uber it. Now, when you get an Uber, it is very important that you don't take off any, any of your gear and that you keep talking and chatting and feeling comfortable at any point in the ride to a minimum. You just want to look at your phone, ignore the whole situation, because remember, you don't know who we had ridden just before you. You know what I mean? And remember, this is why we have our layers. This is why we have our layers. Sci-fi mom. Penultimate mother of all time. Number two. Mother. I am mother. Now this is from another a Netflix original. It's an AI twist. Before this came out, for the last 25 years, there's not been an original statement or sentiment about AI. However, this movie flipped it. Also, like a real mother, she's not everything is a twisted mind game to see if her own daughter is worthy of surviving in this world. Travel survival tip. And once you've gotten home, the next step is decontamination. Before you walk into your mom's house, you want to decontaminate. And that is why we have this spray bottle, right? So before you walk into that house, you're gonna spray down your hoodie, you're gonna spray down your, uh, don't do your mask. Uh, you know, spray down your, your, the top layer of pants, any of that stuff, give them a spritz down. When you get out of there, make sure to hang them maybe in a bathroom and you wanna wa wash your hands with hand sanitizer sanitizer because you don't want to infect the house you know keep your glasses and and the mask elsewhere maybe in your coat or your jacket pocket and just make sure you don't drag that into the house now when you're entering the house you might not be able to provide her a gift or flowers because it is mother's day but everything's probably closed um and i probably wouldn't stop off to get flowers because you don't know where they've been sci-fi mom and finally the number one greatest sci-fi movie and television mother of all time is Cersei Lannister. That's right. Now, in my opinion, Cersei Lannister is the true protagonist of the series Game of Thrones. A lot of people hate her and they think she's super evil, but you need to look at what's going on right now. Every single evil act that she did had to do with her children all came down to protect the identities of who her children were and to protect them from eventual guillotines. Not only that, she continues to do evil after she runs out of children, but that's all just vengeance for losing her children in the first place. And who wouldn't go on a murder revenge spree if you lost all your children? I want you to just think about it. So there you go, that is our sci-fi list. Did I miss any of them? Please let me know in the comments. Travel survival tip. And then the final thing to do to visit your mother on Mother's Day is please give your mother a hug. Remember how hard she has worked for you, and, you know, to bring you into this life, but also to raise you. Just shoot her some love. And also remember, this is going to be a reward for her, but it's also a reward from you. You get a break from isolation. Now, I know you might be scared to leave the house and do all these things, but you can do this. You were born for this. Don't be scared. It is when we face our fears that we build character and become stronger people. You just have to do it for this one day. Think of it as a break for you as well. Be safe out there, guys. Please be ultra, ultra safe. I love you. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and keep tuning in to Voice of the Fat Mantis. Ciao for now.